Okay, so today we're gonna to look at how you can connect your iPhone or your iPad up to your router, or if you're in America, your router, or it's also known as a Wi-Fi access point or a hub. Now, it might be that you've got a new one of these and you need to connect it up. Now, if you're connecting from or to a Wi-Fi access point in a hotel, restaurant or shop, then it may be the process is different. I must say, this is really for how to connect up in the home. So whether it be your home or a friend or relative's home, home so stick around all the details coming up shortly don't forget to like this video share it and subscribe to my channel doing these three things help us make more great videos for you so as i say today we're going to look at how you can connect your iphone or ipad up to yours or your friend's wi-fi so all you need to do is first of all locate the router or hub or router and have a look around it now, could be on the underneath. There we go. We've actually looking for wireless name or wireless SSID or network name. And we're looking for the wireless key or wireless password. So as you can see on the underneath of mine here, I've got both of those. I've got wireless SSID, which is the network name and wireless key. It's also in actual fact on this, it's on the back as well. And on some of these devices, you can pull a card out and it's it's right there on the card. What do we need to do on the iPhone or iPad? So once we have that information, then what we can do is go into settings, which is this gray cog just down there. Once we're into settings, tap Wi-Fi, as you can see just over there on the left. And then what we're looking for is we're looking for the name of the Wi-Fi that we want to connect to. So that was, I say, on the hub there. And as you can see, the wireless network SSID or wireless network name, as you can see on the back of my hub there, it's BT Hub 5 hyphen CJWJ. So that's what we're looking for. So as you can see on the list there, there it is just at the top so let's tap on that and now it's going to ask for a password and the password it's now asking for is this password here the wireless password or wireless key not the admin password the wireless password or wireless key so let's just type that in there we go it's four two eight and it is case sensitive i must say that as well d f D6985. So like I say, it is case sensitive. If there's any capital letters in here, then you need to put them in the password as capital letter. Once we're ready, once we're sure we've typed in the right code, then we can just tap join just up there in the top right hand corner. And the little circle will spin round for a bit. And if all is well, then we should get there you go a tick just to the left of the Wi-Fi name. So if you have removed the card from your friend or your own Wi-Fi, then don't forget, put it back in, keep that safe for the next person who might need it. So there we go, that's how you connect. Now, how do you disconnect? Well, you don't have to disconnect from the Wi-Fi, but there might be times when you think, oh, I might wanna disconnect. If you don't disconnect, it means the next time you visit your friend or your relative or wherever you're connecting to, it should connect automatically. You shouldn't have to put that password in again. But if there's any reason why you do want to disconnect, like the only thing I can think of is if you're popping around a neighbor's house and their Wi-Fi is still in range when you get home, it might be that you end up connecting to your neighbor's Wi-Fi, which is likely to be slower because it's obviously it's further away from your Wi-Fi. You know, so you might want to disconnect it. So if you do, let's just go back to the beginning. You just go into settings, tap on Wi-Fi and then find the Wi-Fi that you're currently connected to, the one that you wanna get rid of, and just tap the I just beside it, just there, that I. Okay, and there's an option there to forget this network. Or if you don't want it to automatically join, then you can just turn off auto join. And the next time you go to your friends, let's just 
tap on this one. This is the one that I connected to before and have basically said don't auto join. So let's just do that. Let's just tap on the actual name rather than the I. And as you can see, the circle's spinning. And then what it's going to do is there you go. It's going to tick the box there or tick to the left of it. And that means it's connected. Now, if you want to completely get rid of it, OK, tap on the I just to the right of it and then tap forget this network. OK, and then tap forget. And what that means is the next time you come and visit, you'll have to tap on the network name again and enter that password. So there you go. That guide showed you how you can connect to a wireless network using your iPhone or iPad. This particular iPad was running iOS 17. I hope you liked this video and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, consider hitting that thanks button and making a donation to this channel. Or have a look down below in the description if you want to have a look through my Amazon store or you're in the market for a new VPN or a Fire Stick, Fire TV Q, or Fire Stick accessories, we've got loads of links down there for you. Donating, buying and subscribing really does help support this channel. It helps me to be able to dedicate more time to spend researching and bringing you these great videos. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully, whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money. And also, whilst you're at my YouTube channel, if you see any videos you think your friends, your family or your work colleagues might like, then please don't forget to share these on your social media timelines. Thank you very much for watching.